Welcome to The Garage USA. I'm Jonathan Brinke and today Matt's going to be putting a light bar on his 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm at my brother's shop where Matt will be installing a light bar on this 97 Grand Cherokee. Sweet. Who makes this thing? Oxbeam. Oxbeam? Okay. It's an Oxbeam 50 inch curved light bar. Alright, and that's going to go up on the roof on this. Yes. Yep. Very cool. Alright, let's see how bright this thing is. Is there a switch, switch on it somewhere? Okay. Alright, okay. can I the light? Yeah, it lights up the garage. That's pretty damn bright. You okay back there, Joe? Yeah, I just kind of bumped, bumped my foot onto the These hose. are the Rough Country Grand Cherokee 50-inch light bar mounts. Can you even get these anymore? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. I bought them used, but they aren't actually used. Guy bought them, never used them. Okay. And then they just get mounted behind the... They, the they get mounted behind the seal. So they'll actually drop right in here. Oh, so okay. So fill some fill holes, some holes run some rivets in right along there. Still closes. Um, run some what in there? Rivets. Oh, okay. So you'll so actually drill, drill some holes, put some rivets in. Put some in. rivets in. Um, a lot of people now, because a lot of the light bar mounts are hard to find for most vehicles where they'll be using the the Chevy pickup ones, uh, the cat eye bodies, I think. I forget which ones they are. Either K body or uh, the bubble eye or the cat eye. Yeah. Because the bubble eye is the rounded eye right before the cat eye. So early 2000s. Okay. That's easier for this and then that. Uh, yeah, because the bubble eye is basically thing. just a, cat, or a K body but a little more rounded. So for like my Liberty, I'd be using uh, the Chevy mounts that are similar to these because they don't make light bar mounts like that. They're the, actually the Chevy mounts. Are you running that? No, no that's why you, I have you that. Ran the, I, you ran that's the, why I renegade, went with the actual right, Renegade, right. the factory light bar. Right, okay. Okay, very cool. Where? We'll be... At 12 inches. And line up the rear of the bracket with that. Mark out the holes. And drill holes where those marks are.
Oh, you broke it too fast. Again. All right, now we're going to be pulling off the driver's side fender so we can route the wiring harness through the back side and then into here to make it look a little bit cleaner. And then we'll be running the switch into the interior and running the rest of the wiring to plug it in. See if I can record. It says record. You have to record me plugging things in. I do. It's okay. fascinating. Okay. <laughs> He's never seen anybody plug stuff in before. And the door still works, so that's good. What's up? <laughs> and Joel's got tape. Here's a chunk of tape. A chunk of tape. A chunk of tape. Chunky tape. I'm assuming we're going to want to put this in strips instead of just one long continuous run. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So we decided to mount the switch for the light bar right there. All right, so now he's got all the wiring done and the switch is wired inside the vehicle, so we'll test the lights. Anytime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're good. Uh, yeah, the fog lights oh. start. That's why. Okay, ready? Go for it. <laughs> Do you want to try it with all your fog lights on? Because that's just normal headlights. And that's light bar. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to thank you for watching The Rods USA. I'm Jonathan Brinke, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.